Let's take an artistic trip to Budapest, Hungary, birthplace of such artists as Imre Kinski, Andrei Kertes, Robert Kautha, and Laszlo Moholy Nagy. Refers main tools to emphasize deeper meaning behind their photos. Similarly, Kinski, Kappa, Kertes, and Maholi Nagy use light and shadow in their photos of everyday life and of war in the mid 20th century. Imre Kinski. This first picture is reminiscent of a yin yang. A girl is illuminated by white in an otherwise dark shadow, while a boy is shaded by black in a lighter area. Thus, we take this photograph to be a representation of the good and bad, the yin-yang of war. Next is a picture of a sleeping young girl. Although she is in the light, strips of shadow fall across her in what looks like jail bars. We take this to represent our youth's eventual incarceration. This next photo is a juxtaposition between the big and the small. Although from our perspective, the object in the picture, the person, is small, he casts a very large shadow. This shows that although we as people might be small, we leave a large impact on this world. This picture seems to represent our life path going off into an unknown distance. We can see the road we are on right now. Where are we going? Only the future will tell. This next picture of a normal city seems to fade into white light in the background. This represents our average daily lives being more spectacular than they seem. Andre Cortez. The illumination of the stairs and the flowers in this first photograph suggests that they are a symbol for hope. Because the stairs are leading up, they can be seen as a metaphor for optimism or a better future. Although stairs can also go downward, the great use of light suggests a more positive view. Flowers, because they're usually seen as positive aspects of nature, are also a sign of happiness and hope. In this next photograph, the use of shadow is especially important because it uses the conventional look of shadow, but with a deeper meaning. Because the Eiffel Tower is depicted as such a huge, overarching object, it makes sense that its shadow is large as well. The fact that only some people are stuck inside the tower's shadow while others are enjoying the view from another perspective is a metaphor for the way life works. Life, the off- The third photograph is made emotionally significant specifically because of the light and shadow. Because only the vase is really illuminated in this picture, it represents the most important part of this picture. The vase is so significant because it is what allows the flower to grow and develop. However, because the flower is wilted and essentially dead, the photographer is trying to show that, although living things are often given all the skills and nourishment needed to survive, not everyone takes advantage of them. The use of light and shadow in this picture suggests the hidden meaning behind it. Because the path is illuminated, it suggests that it is the most significant part of this photograph. The stairs are really a metaphor for our road or path of life. While one person is walking down the stairs, another person is on her way to go up the stairs. This shows the contrasting paths that some people take through life. Even when people are essentially in the- Robert Kappa. The first of Kappa's photographs that we chose has an especially good sense of shadow because of its over-exaggeration of the lights and the darks. The soldiers are extremely dark while the clouds that loom above them and the water are almost white. This could symbolize their impurity or just the impurity of war in general. Also, it looks almost as if the soldiers are being taken over by the water. This next picture, when you first look at it, seems almost tranquil and beautiful, but when you look closer you see soldiers have fallen. There is a split liquid next to the soldier and there is something torn on the railing of the balcony, which shows the chaos of war and loss in a normal setting, almost making it look okay. But it also looks sad, because he's just there alone and no one has found him yet. This picture shows a bit of freedom, but also a lot of confinement. The men hanging from the swings look almost as if they're evil or bad, because the lighting in the picture has made them the darkest part of the picture. They're only black silhouettes. They look dangerous and foreboding, just as many of Kappa's other pictures do. 
This picture is very meaningful and has multiple layers. The lady is lit up and bright and pure looking, but she's sad or grieving almost. She looks as if she's giving up and holding the most beautiful white flag that she could find. The soldiers are dark and ominous looking, fairly evil. So she is resigning her fight and giving up. Laszlo Maholi Nagy. This first photo is one of many Maholi Nagy's experiments with photogram, the process of exposing light sensitive paper with objects placed on top of them. We especially like this photograph for its meaning. The two people are facing away from each other yet connected, perhaps in a disagreement yet so similar at the same time. The next photograph uses light and shadow to make an obscure object beautiful. It's difficult to tell what the glass object is, which adds to the mystery. This photograph seems to insist that anything, no matter how ordinary, can be extraordinary. This photo is an interesting take on curiosity. Instead of looking at the strange piece next to them, the young boys are looking away. There must be something more intriguing. This makes us, as viewers, curious as well, allowing us to experience boyish curiosity. This last photograph is incredibly haunting. The two dolls are covered by the shadow of a wire, which we take to represent the imprisonment of the Jews. They also appear tattered and are missing limbs, representing the great extent of abuse that Jews experienced during the Holocaust. Hungry. It's not just an adjective, it's also a birthplace of great art.